Hey everyone, Fatty from Pack a Punch Traders here. Gonna make a quick video lesson going over my top plays. Video lesson or the watch list isn't really that long, um, so probably shouldn't have that many that are on top watch. Considering the market, I doubt the majority of these are gonna end up doing what I want, but. I'm liking a lot of these plays right now, and we'll just dive into them right now. NKTX we got on the screen here, and we just got this whole run up. We're on the downside. Looks like it's tightening up. Let's see. So you know, I'll judge that by looking at the lows, comparing the lows. We got we'll call it sixteen three to fifteen. Okay, so we got a dollar and thirty cents. This one was more significant of a drop here, but then instantly here today, we got, what, 17 cents or so. Um, not much of a drop lower, and it's having a hard time. It's giving some bounces compared to, some decent bounces compared to the past few days. So this thing might be a potential multi-day bounce. We'll be looking for it to set that high, just a momentum shift, so that, you know, the, sh the trend for short sellers starts reversing, and they'll start locking in profits after being in the past couple of days, and making some decent money. They'll lock in their profits, that'll lead to a nice squeeze from dip buyers coming in as well, like me, recognizing the momentum shift, and just going to be looking for a quick 10-15%. And it does typically run about 30%, but in this market, I'm taking my quick snipes. I'm being quick, and it worked out with my trading today, two for three, uh, one for two on CYN, and then ended up taking NWBO. Let me just go over that real quick. I got a panic dip buy, came to the party pretty late, got in at 68 cents here as it was going sideways making higher lows thought we could get to VWAP and it pretty much did that and gave me some more I got out at 77 cents a little premature but was up about 11 percent I'm locking that in when into that little bump so solid profit there um, CYN had a little loss of 55 bucks or so into this little pop and then we got the washout that was annoying, um, but took the loss there. Ended up holding up, took it into the close. Some shares, and I added some more into after hours as I saw that it was still holding up. Looking for a swing as it was holding the key level I was looking for from the watch list from yesterday to test six and a break higher. And had a little break at work, and it was just perfect timing. Once I saw that, took it off at 570 for a quick snipe. So up 550 on the day, pretty good. But let's get back to what we're looking for. So NKTX, multi-day bounce. You know the deal, just looking for the momentum shift. Let it consolidate for a few minutes at least. And then look for that high day break to confirm that we're going to be getting that momentum shift. And then we got as well with a multi-day bounce, SIDU. Just extreme panic here going on, but not much selling going on the past couple of days. So if we get any bottoming action, a spike instead of fa failure, as, we, as we've been seeing the past few days, um, this could be a definite, a definite, um, I can't even talk right now, I'm pretty late here. Uh, Multi-day bounce, as there's a lot of shorts probably packed in here from the three area, mid twos. And now they're up nicely. If it starts bottoming out, showing the trend is going to change and come back on them, they're going to start locking in profits. And that's going to be our play. All that volume that comes in is going to lead to a nice squeeze. It's not always quick and easy. Sometimes it does chop around and set up in an ugly manner. But nonetheless, it's still the bounce play that we're going to be looking for. And... The volume is going to be coming from shorts uh, locking in profits. Um, 
What else we got? What else? What else? What else? CYN. This is what I'm looking for as well. I sold, but I'm definitely going to be willing to rebuy. Depending how it sets up. What do I have it here as? If it keeps holding trend, looking for a move to test the multi-day breakout level at 625. Okay, so I'll probably be playing the 518 level if that keeps holding. Just looking for that continuation of momentum. Uh, keep holding trend, making higher lows, consolidating, and still looking to make higher lows after that. And buying continuing to come in that could lead to a push to test the low sixes. And I don't see much volume really behind this red candle here, so I am pretty comfortable. I will be pretty comfortable taking a breakout play if it confirms the low sixes as a support area. I think we can definitely get that's oh, the breakout. So, yeah, this is the low sixes here, resistance. After that, we could probably get to low mid sevens, where we got some resistance from this consolidation area um, towards the end of the of last year. So we'll see what happens. The flow twenty five million doing some decent volume. The volume, as you can see, is coming back here. It did drop off when it was dipping, but as you can see, this volume is not that significant on the daily chart. When it's uh, dipping, so you know, same deal as when we look at it intraday. It's same thing here. I see that we have solid volume compared to the selling on to when, when it's dipping, and now you get the solid double bottom in the low threes, and we're starting to uptrend. So I had a good call with this today, and now we're just gonna look for the continuation. Um, just yeah, just look for bullish signals to keep lining up, and that's all you could really do until it really breaks down and a lot of selling comes in next up skyh we got what do we got a little bit of bigger market cap history of moving um low flow i like that volume picking up bottoming near the lows here um so do I have it as a play to test the breakout? Low float holding up, gearing up for a test, and a daily break over 12. So yeah, um, we'll be seeing how the 10 area holds. That'll be key. Whole dollar, half dollar. So far, it's holding it here after hours. We'll see if we get a continuation. Maybe we play it with a break over after hours highs. But just looking for a failure to break down and just uptrending to continue. More volume to come in. It could definitely, I want to say definitely, it could possibly test the 12 area where we have resistance here at the breakout level. And if it holds that area, it can prove to be a support zone and shorts fail to break it down. Next up, you know, you got 15 as a possible area to test, maybe higher, but I'll be looking for my quick two bucks if I'm getting in around 12 or if I'm in around 10 or 11 and I hold through the consolidation around 12 I'll definitely be selling before this but you know next up I don't really see much resistance we definitely have 25 as a key level but I'm not going to be trying to call a 100% mover here I'm just looking for the quick 10-15% and I think 15 lines up pretty well as resistance. Maybe low 14s. It'll have some trouble. But SKYH, if it could keep holding up and continuing this trend, it does have a low float. Bottoming nicely on the daily chart. Could be a nice breakout or could be a nice play uh, early on if you recognize it and volume is there for a test of the 12 area. I've noticed that has been working out decently recently. And that's something I'm going to start looking into um, capturing data on seeing how the play testing the breakout area works out <clears throat> we've been getting a lot of that so yeah this, this video is getting a little long let's wrap it up here last one BWV uh, here we got a choppy play the past couple of days solid volume low float low market cap 
not much overhead resistance really until maybe the eight area high sevens is gonna have a little bit of trouble maybe but high sevens low eights somewhere around that area is gonna have some resistance besides that next up is 10 but right now looking for a break over the six and a half level it's held as key resistance the past couple of days if we go into day here solid double top here and although it's very choppy and annoying it does offer some nice moves this thing is overall still making higher lows on the daily chart and even here this is right around where it closed in the mid sixes not that far off the highs of that day around 712 so i'll probably be playing the breakout play here over six and a half as that's proven to be a key area here as it is having a hard time breaking it and that's the area where it closed at on this day and you know if volume continues to come in with a low float like this if trend could continue upwards and it could trap shorts we could definitely get i keep saying definitely i gotta be careful with that word we can get a move to test that breakout area in the low sevens and from there if it proves to keep holding and shorts fail to break it down and volume continues to come in it could see a move to the low eights possibly where the next resistance level is and if you're playing as a breakout from the low sevens that's a quick snipe taking it to eight or so um so we'll see how this lines up but this video is a bit longer than i would have liked but some solid plays lining up. It is a slower market right now. You know, as you can see here, this thing's hanging on a 4,000. But let's just forget that for a moment. Just take the plays as they come to you. Ignore the overall market, all the noise on Twitter, you know, things tank and whatnot. Play what's in front of you. If there's a good play setting up in front of you, have at it. CYN worked out. Garbage market today. You know, choppy sideways action took a little loss on it but recognize it was still failing to break down and overall volume still continued to come in even though it was lighter here towards the end um but on the daily here it is higher than it was yesterday so recognizing this it led to a nice little after hours gain um what was the other one? NWBO. This came out of nowhere. Saw a post of this panic on Twitter. I'm like, oh, let's see if I missed the bounce. Saw that it was already up a crap ton, but also recognized it was failing to break down. Was a little hesitant, but just thought I had decent risk reward, risking about three cents, right around 5%. 120 bucks or so would have been the risk. And was aiming to make about 10, 10, 12 cents. Um, end up making nine, but still, just taking the plays as they come to me, not trying to force anything. If I'm uncomfortable and having a hard time with a play, get out. There's no need to stick around for something that might not work out in this market. Um, at least that's my view on plays. You could always get back in, as CYN proved to be. Um, as supportive of what I just said, you got the choppiness. If you're live today, you're seeing me getting exhausted with this play, but then later on, it ended up working out. And I made what did I make on that 240 on this one, 244 or so. Uh, not much, but definitely made up my $54 loss earlier, so that's nice to see. But I'm rambling here, so let's wrap it up. Uh, CYN, NWBO, BWV, NKTX, SIDO. All some top watches. The gappers recently have been total ignores for me. They've actually been great short plays. Um, we'll see if that pattern reverses soon. But recently, the gappers have been an ignore pretty much. If there's anything, I'll update it on Twitter. I already have the watches here on Twitter. But I didn't update it this morning. I woke up late. But besides that, there really wasn't much to watch from pre-market. 
so yeah, we'll just end it there. Hope everyone had a great day, learned something. Uh, let's look forward to tomorrow. I need some sleep here. It's getting late. Check us out on Twitter at Pack a Punch Traders. Uh, if you want some low cost live stream, check us out on Tradecaster.com. We're there every morning going over the watch list. Any new plays? If there's any trades, I'll trade them live. Um, can't guarantee it's going to be a win. And sometimes I'm, you know, keeping my eye off the market even if it's not live. So I am catching some plays when I'm not live as well. But I'll keep alerting you guys to those. Um, but besides that, give this a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll catch you guys later. Have a great night.